In the previous episode, the enemy sieging army ran out of food and broke apart, and we spent time picking them off. We finished more claims and now own fiefs legally. We took Takor Castle and filed a claim, fought a 30 plus minute siege for Belgard, won and started the claim process, and we sued for peace with Sturgia. All right, first thing first, because I will forget, let's go ahead and claim Belgard. And again, we'll, we'll double check, make sure there's nothing else that we need to make a claim on. Now, domain management, we're going low. Forgiveness, we don't want to tax private slaves. And we'll put it on none for the workforce and encourage and subsidize and enlistment. Yeah, this looks all, this all looks very good. And then we'll go ahead and transfer slaves. Let's get rid of everybody. Go back through. Oh, we don't have any companions. Okay. Well, it saves us some time. And we'll, we'll take all the prisoners that we can recruit over. We do need to build back up again. We're 346 now and a few upgrades. Actually, what we should have done is recruit. Let's recruit first. We'll also take whatever's in the, the tavern. Yeah, they don't have any garrison here, so let's go ahead and fill that up. And let's check out the town. It's probably in decent shape because the other ones were as well. Yeah, we see a lot of, lot of tier 3 buildings. Not a whole lot left for us to do. We probably want to do the granary. Yeah, food's in rough shape right now. But the orchard's maxed, so that's not going to help. This is just going to help for excess when we get to that point. All right, let's go ahead and build. Let's do the mine courthouse we don't really need the other stuff i don't think we'll do the granary as well and let's go ahead and put some money in here all right 100k in the bank let's go sell some stuff make some of that money back yeah not bad 186 we still come out positive we're pretty close to being able to declare a kingdom through the banner king system we need a little bit more cash though so now we're at war with just the southern empire i believe yeah so we only have to worry pretty much from from the east east coast so not too concerned here. Let's travel to each of these villages and just double check, make sure we're in decent shape with these. Tax policy needs to be set to low to all of them. We don't need to mess with any of this though. This is not our front line. And village project will leave on production. And once these finish, that'll take effect. Let's just, uh, let's just queue up a bunch of stuff. I don't know that it really matters that much, to be honest. I mean, as you can see, we're making 68K up per day. So don't think we're too concerned about cash at this point, but you know, might as well be thorough. We're traveling that way anyways. We'll just stop at each village. And same thing. We're just going to queue up a bunch of stuff. And this one, I believe, is cows, right? Yeah. So we'll put it on pasture. And this is fish. The low taxes. Let's mess with... Yeah, fish farm sounds good. Although this one's going to take 214 days. So we'll probably never see it. All right. That one's all set up. Let's keep moving. The Yaroslav the Wise declared war on us. Uh, interesting. I don't know why. Maybe he thinks we're weak. Or he got tired of paying us. But either way, we should be okay. Yeah, this one's already capped out. Actually, all these are capped out. I think maybe these ones may not be, but, but I don't really feel like going down there. And yeah, so let's just head back to make sure we can defend what we have. Glovestrom set up. And actually, the drafting policy, this one's having a really hard time with population. So let's go ahead and put it on demobilization. It says that it gives it a slight boost to population growth. I, whatever, we, we, we got to do whatever we can because 163, it's been there for or around there for quite a while. Yeah, I mean, these are going to take forever to do, but you know, we'll make the best of what, what we can with it. And let's check out Udik's skull. I think this one was okay. Yeah, this one's actually pretty low as well. So let's go demobilization. All right, there is a noble from the Southern Empire kind of wandered into our, oh, we got a claim on two two different things. Okay, we'll say hi to this guy. We'll get our 17 relation and let's, let's destroy him real quick. All right, we'll set two infantry groups fairly wide apart from each other. We're just going to give them the advance command. Archers in the middle like usual. Range and guard behind them. So we'll advance both of these. Archers are already shooting, so that's a good sign. Actually, let's give the archers the advance as well. Alright, we gotta keep eye on, uh, on their cab. They only have a couple, but we don't want them to Blank any of our, infant, our uh, archers, rather. Infantry, move, move. Forward. Infantry, move, move. Oh, and it did it again. Man, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It keeps splitting our infantry. Soldiers. We're trying to keep them 50-50, and it keeps... Uh, whatever. We'll deal with it. All right, here comes their cav. Let's get our ranging guard on, on the left flank. All right, we're going to give charge command to both infantry. We should be able to sandwich them a bit here. And their cav are roaming a little bit on our back line. We don't really want to lose archers to these guys, so Let's smack them a few times.
couple more cab over here. I, they still got 50 people left. I'm kind of surprised they aren't dead yet. Alright, Archer stabbed that guy in the head. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and release the ranging guards. I'm curious to see how these guys are doing. They seem like they're struggling a bit. I thought they'd be cleaning them up a little bit better than that. Right, there goes one of their companions. And they're starting to flee now. Let's go ahead and get some pain in on these guys. I can't see. Let's switch to first person. This is usually where we take our losses, so let's try and get these guys to run. Nice. As I was saying that. Wow, look at that thing. That is really long. That's a Manavliaton. I guess that's the open armory version. Open source armor. Really. Alright, there we go. And we spent some time cleaning up all the, uh, the trash. We don't want them to escape. Then we gotta fight them again, so we cleaned them up. Actually got quite a bit of influence for that. I'm surprised how small the battle was but we'll let him go and we'll take the relations and the prisoners let's go try let's go try and drop them off at one of those villages that was kind of struggling a bit i'm wondering if since we switched it actually did we switch it let's make sure make sure we switch the prisoner policy to um forgiveness oh they are trying to siege okay or not siege but they're trying to raid we can't allow that yeah, that is unacceptable are we going to take both of these guys no it's only letting us do one so if we catch this guy does it Pull them both? No, it doesn't. We gotta fight this guy separate. Or this lady. Infantry! Yeah, did it again. Alright, let's switch him back. I guess we just gotta do that every time. Alright, so same thing. Let's let's try and command these guys a little bit better this time, though. And let's just give the archers the advance command. They'll, they'll, they should do a pretty good job staying out of trouble here. Let's just advance nice and slow. Easy battle, but we'll practice them for the big ones. Alright, we're gonna send our ranging guard up there. They have calves somewhere in that fog. I have no clue where, but good luck, boys. Go get them. And a couple girls that we have. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pause here for a sec. And actually, I'm going to pull the archers back as well. My ranging guard is engaging them. Right, they are doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but they're getting kills. All right, we shield walled them. Ooh. Let's keep moving them back into the... Oh, destroyed. Nice. Give him a little little help here. Oh, he's going to ride right through. All right, they are starting to, starting to flake our archers a little bit. Uh, we're not taking too kindly to that. All right, the ranging guard is no longer engaged. Looks like they retreated a little. Let's move them a little closer. All right, we're going to send our second group on a little bit of a flank here on the right. Our ranging guard is engaged again. That's good. They should be able to whittle these guys down. Oh, we lost one. Interesting. All right, we're getting getting charged by... Who are these guys? They don't even show up. All right. Well, I don't know who they were. Oh, whoa. Hello, gentlemen. They are pushing... Yeah, they're pushing their... They're pushing their infantry into ours. Let's go ahead and send our second line. Ooh, he got knocked off. All right, so let's send our second line over here. All right, here's their archers. So let's send the second line up here into the archer line. We'll spend some time picking off the guys that are retreating so we don't have to fight them again. I caught a couple cavalry right at the last second there before they got out. This guy's little arm shield is really stopping a lot of hits. Let's just give everybody the attack command just in case they don't have it. Right, we gotta get around these shields. Yeah, the range guard did really well there, I think. 
Looked like a lot of people were popping up. So we didn't lose anybody this time. No injuries even. Like I said, this wasn't supposed to be a tough battle, but we used a little bit different tactics and it seemed like it worked out pretty well. All right, we'll take the cheap troops. We'll take... Let's go ahead and shuffle the prisoners. Yep, so we'll take all the higher tier. I don't know if that makes a difference when you're donating them, but I guess we'll see. And there's another... Oh, you know what? He, he got spit out. Oh, he's attacking. You are probably going to die now. Yeah, you're toast. You got greedy there. All right, let's pull the... We're going to pull the ranging guard. Let's just go after him. We should be able to end this pretty quickly. we got to make sure we get the noble, though. Because I think... I think that's what's causing them... To, to when when if the noble gets out they're able to regroup and do it again but if you take the noble out i think the troops that were in their party go with them oh yeah they already that's it right, that's everybody oh they got 18 got out what in the heck that may not be accurate no nope. i thought there was two parties right let's see if that other one did they run off i think they might have run off let's go double check make sure that we've got the right policy set up at right, urik scala yeah All right domain management we are doing the uh, yeah, this one's an enslavement. Let's do forgiveness. Now, I don't know if this works for the villages too, or just the main, just the castle, but we'll find out. Let's go donate a bunch. Let's head up to Tile. We need to recruit a few people. We can probably promote some people as well. Actually, let's check the hierarchy. I think we, we're supposed to usurp something. Yeah, these two. Oh, uh, these three, actually. Yeah, there's just three of them. And that should free up us being able to create somebody as a knight. Let's go try that. We'll switch this to forgiveness, and again, we'll try donating and see if that makes a difference. I don't think it does. I pro I'm probably doing it wrong, to be honest. These guys back. Right, into the dungeon you go with all the other... Actually, why are all these people here? I don't know. Let's go donate them as well. All right, we need to promote... We don't want to promote anybody that's going to be crucial to our party, like Magnus, uh, First Dead. We don't want to mess with him or Henry, but Ragnvald we can, and he deserves it. He's been with us since the beginning. And we'll do estate property, lordship. I think you have to donate an actual castle. We don't really want to do that just yet. And somebody else. So Helga, I think, is... Yeah, I was going to say, she's our surgeon. We don't want to mess with that. What about Trigba? He's doing a really good job. He's and same thing. Estate, Bukit. Sorry, it sucks, but hopefully it gets better. All right, let's go recruit some more people, and then we can form our own parties. All right, Ragnvald goes first. And what kind of trash do we have out here? 34. So we want to donate a few more so we can actually start the party. We can always take him back. Let's do that. And yep, there he is. Shows up. He's out on the map. He should join us. Nice. And let's go talk to him. Like I said, we'll take those guys back and we'll we'll give him all the stuff that we don't want in our main party. So that's fine. So he's there. Let's keep going to places. Oh, and he does recruit. So that's good. I saw plus nine there. A couple more people we can. So we just go town to town. Yeah, I know they declared war on us, but it doesn't look like anybody's coming after us. So if we agree to pay 390, Southern Empire will accept peace. Yeah, we'll pass. You pay us. We don't pay you. Okay, so we did cap out. Let's go ahead and donate some troops. Yeah, we can't donate too many, but he's still not full. So let's go ahead and give a few more and we can switch them up once we get past that point. And then if we go over, we can just promote um, somebody else to, to run their own party. Oh, wow. Courier with a mar marriage offer for Trigva from Vizduna. Who's Vizduna? Right, Vizduna is... Okay. How old is she? She's 30. And she's got some decent skills. She's got some steward, a little bit of a few other things, but the steward's good, so she could be a, a good governor, or governess, rather. 30 years old's a little older, but, you know, we could do it. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, kinswoman. Okay, that's fine. Let's accept it. Rigva getting married. Look at that. Never thought I'd see the day, huh? <laughs> it looks pretty good in a civilian outfit. We've been uh, upgrading these guys to have some pretty serious armor. All right, Vizduna, can we control you now? I think we can. Yeah, there she is. We need to let her regroup, and then we can call her into the party, and then we'll throw her in somewhere. Nice. So these guys do get married. They get marriage proposals as as knights. Uh, did we recruit? We did not recruit here. So let's do that, and we'll keep moving. Right, we got a lot of people here now. So let's go ahead and create a second party. Trigva, and you get all the stuff we don't want, plus whatever overage we have. Well, we need to give more so we can actually call them into the party, though. Yeah, they don't have 60%. They won't let you, so let's do that. We'll take them back. All right, we can... Give them a little bit so we're not over, and let's keep going. We've got quite a few prisoners that need to be converted. Let's let's do that. And like I said, we can keep donating. Actually, let's let's cap him out. We can always swap them later. That's not a big deal. All right, now anything we recruit is going straight to us. Ooh, the wrecker. Those are low tier, but they oh no, they're not low tier, but they do recruit to this tier six. That's that's a good pick. Upgrade everybody. Can we call Vizduna at Varnavapol? Oh, perfect. We were heading there anyways. Let's go down there. All right, Vizduna, there she is. So let's go ahead. She's already here. Let's go ahead and put her as the governess. 
Wait, you can... It lets you put notables as governors? i never seen that before. I had no idea. Uh, we're going to put Vishduna in anyways. We'll just leave her here for that. That should help quite a bit. Right, what is this? Oh, Carbanseth rebels. <laughs> yeah, they can't keep... They can't keep hold of their, their thieves. And Batania is down to... Well, they still have the two castle... Three castles, actually, but... Yeah, they're, they've only got one town. They're completely surrounded. They're not in good shape, to say the least. Now, I'm half tempted... No, we still have some other stuff we can promote. So Uruk Skala, I think we could safely give that away because we've already utilizing... Yeah, we're already utilizing these. Let's see. Yeah, the knighthood. We use these for the knighthood. But I guess it doesn't make them the owner. So maybe if we give them lordship? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Let's talk to them. So they're already a knight. Yeah, so we can't do anything. Else. So once they're a knight, that's it. That's all they can do then. All right, we got almost 600 troops. We should probably go take somebody out. Right, let's actually pop up a little bit. Looks like somebody lost some troops. Oh, Elof is getting attacked. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's the one that was struggling. Oh, we're already here. Let's recruit. We're pretty much at the max now. Let's go back as soon as we can, but just shy of 600 troops. Don't think there's too many people out there that can compete with us. Not just on volume, but the, the quality. Okay, so they gave up on raiding that, it looks like, unless they finished it so fast. No, they finished it fast. Man, look at that. That sucks. That's the one that was struggling too. All right, who did it? We gotta pay him back. Oh, it's probably this. They're still raiding. All right, well, not gonna let you raid anymore. All right, let's move. Let's move our infantry up on the on this left flank. Okay, these guys are gonna get. Let's go ahead and shield wall. Oh, that's a lot of cav. Yeah, we got it. We got a lot of cav now. All right, these guys we're gonna send up on a nice hilltop flank. Get these guys in line formation. We'll push them up straight up the middle. Archers, we could probably put on one of these little plateaus or whatever you want to call it. Not really a, a very cav friendly map, so let's let's move our cav off off to one of the flanks. We can use them at the very end when when we're just chasing people down. Alright, let's move these guys in. Alright, let's let's actually have them stop. Oh yeah. Our infantry are running right into their archers. They're gonna get completely destroyed. Alright, there's a battle going on up there. Let's keep an eye on it if we can. Make sure it's going well. Right, we want to move these guys in so that they can just completely crush these guys. We outnumber them. Better quality. Yeah, there's no reason we can't push the pace on them. Oh, and they... <laughs> yeah, they're getting sandwiched. Right, let's just charge command both of them. This should be fine. And same thing with the ranging guard. It's time to clean up. That's what you get for raiding us. Nine deaths. We lost nine people. Yeah, here at men, these are all low tier. Oh, a couple decent tiers, though. For all, yeah, it's all low tier. That's expected. And we'll let them go. Donate troops to these guys just so that they're topped up. And then that allows us to recruit whatever's left. And yeah, there's still a bunch of low tier stuff, which is fine. We need to we need to get a little bit of everything. Oh, nice. First kid reached age five. We'll give her some leadership, some writing, and her vigor. And Hans Larsson did hit 275, so he's, we got another another companion up at 275. We'll stop there once in a while just so they can pop up on stuff. We've got a few too many troops here. Let's uh, let's get rid of some of these low tier. We need to get rid of 10. There we go. And I mean, some of them are going to end up in the garrison anyways, but I don't really want to fight sieges right now. I would like to get done with the war here. Was, somebody had mentioned before, I didn't realize this, but uh, you can convert the culture. I mean, I kind of knew it, but it didn't really click in my head until somebody left the comment. So we can take Dinar and turn the culture into Sturgia eventually. We might want to do that next time we're at war. If you play any Paradox games, there's border gore or you can have clean borders. We want to have clean borders. So anything this side of the river can be ours up until this point. Just makes for a nice look. So obviously we don't want our OCD to go, go into hyperdrive. We've got quite a bit of things going on here. Do we have prisoners? We got a lot of prisoners. Let's go ahead and sell some. Yeah, unfortunately they raided both of these. We can't go to Uruk Skala or Elav. We can go to Visibrat. I think that one's actually okay. But probably doesn't need it. I think Bukit does need it. So let's head up there. Well, the, pro the problem with these guys, I think a lot of these are... Yeah, they're Calradian. There's not a whole lot of Sturgeons, so maybe that wouldn't make sense. I guess they could be slaves? I don't know. And check, check. Our daughter did reach age five, so they're getting older. And I think what we'll do is have her taking charge. So social, and as a noble, she's gonna need 
than riding, so caring for horses, we'll do that. And then what did it get? Plus one to cutting. Well, that sucks. Not the most useful, but that's fine. Right, let's head back up to Tile. Ilya Muramet gained a level. Let's see. Yeah, level 15, so this is one of our lower tier. He's getting pretty high up there now, though, so we'll put two points into here. Valdemar's got 225 smithing, so we're going to go give an extra endurance there. Here we go. Hans Larsen, 275 one-handed, so he's going to be a bit of a chad. Right, let's keep keep going to tell y'all. we got to drop off some prisoners or sell them. I don't know. Maybe we probably sell them. Yeah, because they're, they're not the right culture, so I wonder if they get converted into prisoners. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's... um. Let's go ahead and give it to give it to this guy. 42 slaves. Yeah, extra workforce. So I think they get converted into, into slaves. That's that's never a bad thing. Unless you are the one that's getting slaved. That sucks. And then we need to drop some people off in the dungeon. Yes, yeah, so we got three people here. Let's do that. Let's take a quick look at the domain hierarchy. We've got quite a few claims going. And there's nothing that's quite yet ready to usurp. I uh, just want to make sure we're not missing anything. We were able to give two of these away so we've got some knights i would like to do that again i think we'll be able to do it here with uric scala but one thing that is giving me a bit of concern is this domain limit we're 17.75 out of 16 which which is a bit ridiculous yeah we're, we're way over the limit yeah and you can see being that far over is making a big difference on stability and stability it says is the basis of economic prosperity although we're still making a ton of money so maybe we can just ignore that that stat to be honest I mean, if you look at our income, we're, we're making 50, almost uh, 56 grand per day. And the vast majority of that is coming through towns and, and uh, thieves and all that. Not so much workshops or anything else. So it, we're, we're getting a little bit of tribute too. Yeah, I think we just ignore it. We'll just keep going. Why not? Now, question is, can we hire more parties? Which we, we could if we promote some people. Because having a bigger army is never a bad idea, right? So that might be something to look into. Okay, let's, let's see if we can... Let's just see if, if it's even possible. So we can give away a lordship. We can't do the estate property. And I feel like this one is the one that makes them eventually leave the party, which I don't know that we necessarily want. Now, if we do the lordship, what does that do? Oh, it's the same too. Interesting. Does it, I wonder if it takes away... I wonder if it takes away the title that we already bestowed upon those other two. Kind of curious. Well, let's try it, right? Or we can back out, I guess. Let's do it anyways. Nope, he's still in the party. So what difference does that make? If we go to the domain hierarchy, I think it takes it out of our name. Let's double check. That would be, actually, that'd be a really good way for us to do it. So domain hierarchy, we're going to go all the way to the right. There it is. Yeah, so he's he's actually the head of that. So knighthood is not the same. Yeah, the Gospodin is, that's really interesting. And I believe we lose complete control of that, right? Oh, no, our income went, went up. Yeah, our income went up. So it, it could just be coincidence, but... Oh, actually, maybe not, because if our income went up, let's check our domain limit. Maybe the domain went down. It went down just barely slightly. Yeah, I think it was 17.75, so it makes almost no difference. That shouldn't make a big difference. Oh, we do, it increases our vassal. Okay, so it does use up a vassal slot, whereas doing the knighthood thing does not. But we can take nine vassals, so I mean, we've got tons of room. So let's, let's go to a place where we can hire a bunch of troops, and that'll get... That's that third party started. Uh, they don't have a bunch of troops. Maybe Bukits. Yeah, decent, not a ton, but the parties. Let's go ahead and get Balder. Where are you? Yeah, Balder the Beautiful, Gospodin. And then we have a bunch of low tier. Let's go ahead and get all the low tier in here. And he's going to need a few more. Otherwise, he won't be able to join the party or the army. So let's go ahead and get him topped up. All right. Welcome to the army, even though you're already part of the army. And let's take those Ratnik back. We want to keep them. And uh, yeah, we should probably go around and recruit up a little bit. Now we could do it again, right? We can we can make another party. So we can have an absolutely massive army without having to hire people into the, uh, the kingdom. So maybe we'll just keep it in-house. I don't know. I mean, it, it is nice having the AI have a few people because they can manage all the troops. We don't have to micro them. But I don't know. So we got a claim on the Principality, uh, two different Principalities. Oh, and the Grand Principality of Sturgia. Oh boy. Well, let's see what it does. So let's go Domain Hierarchy. So we don't, we can't do that one. It's this one that we can do. Or maybe we have to do this one first, and then we can do that one. Just make sure there's no other ones that we're missing. Okay, so let's usurp this one. Lost some relations there, no big deal. 
And doesn't look like anything else opens up. I did see the pop-up twice though. So we should be able to use more than one thing. Unless we need, maybe we need to exit and come back in just to get this to refresh. I'm not sure. Let's see. Actually, what does it say? So this says fabricated claim. Okay, so we can, we should be able to do it right now. All right, coming back in does not allow us. So it doesn't look like it's there, but it did give a reason why. So usurp must be faction leader to usurp highest title in hierarchy. We're already a claimant. Can't revoke a title of a lord outside your realm. Yeah, we have we have the claim. Maybe this is where the the, the decision for the kingdom comes in. No, nope. uh, I mean the personal. Is it the unique? Yeah, found kingdom. What does this look like? So we can do it now. Cannot found a kingdom for a faction with less than three clans. Uh, we need to hire more people in. Okay, maybe that's why it won't let us take over then. And it. Oh, we don't have enough money either. Wow, that thing keeps getting more expensive. Okay, well, we just got to keep pushing. Yeah, fancy titles don't mean anything if you don't have an army to take it all over. Oh, we got a, another claim. Well, let's let's do it at Glavstrom because we need to get get more troops. All right, peace offer with the South. Let's see if they're going to be willing to pay us this time. I think the last couple times they've been trying to get money from us, and that's not gonna that's not gonna fly. They got to pay the big bucks. All right, usurp for severe, so we can do that. Nice. And that doesn't open up forming a claim on these. So let's go out, and come back in, see if that helps. Yeah, so that's what it is. So we can file three new claims. And peace deal from the Southern Empire. It looks like they're going to pay us pretty close to 4k. So we'll, we'll take that. One less person to worry about raiding our villages. Which we really don't want to deal with. Now, when it comes to dealing with these guys, I really don't want to take land from them. But that might be what we have to do. So I have a couple ideas. First, let's head to one of our villages so we can open up the domain. Actually, we don't need to do that. What we need to do is find somebody that's ready to go. I think maybe Sver. He's done a really good job. So let's go ahead and talk to him. And we're going to have him serve as a knight, giving a lordship to Bukit. Right, so he's good to go. We gave him 5k. And there's nobody to recruit, but we can do. We have quite a few prisoners, so let's do that. And of course, we'll upgrade everybody. And then party screen, let's start another one with Sver. And we'll give him all, the, all these guys so we can start the party and then we'll call them back in take it and then we'll we'll keep recruiting troops until everybody's got what they need sweet so we're in really good shape here we can't promote anybody else for a little bit we need to finish a few claims i think so let's keep recruiting troops try and get as many as we can all right so he is recruiting every time we go uh, to a place so this is pretty good news now i don't know how we got that many troops i guess he really does have that many wow okay well we went to like two villages and he went from 19 to 119 so I'm not complaining though. So let's do this. Uh, I know Baltic End was already kind of in a bit of trouble. It was captured a couple times at the very beginning, so it's probably not fully recovered yet. What we're gonna do is siege it down, show them that we don't take too kindly to them, you know, declaring war on us unjustly. There's no reason for it. Ooh, our siege camp is so close to theirs. Somebody's getting married. Let's see. Yeah, Ragnvald. And there's a marriage proposal for Liari. Who is that? of Fen Eingal. So she's not the most useful. She got riding and a little bit of charm, but not really all that much else going for her. She's 23 though, so she's young. Let's do it. They'll have lots and lots of babies. Oh, Ragnvald, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> she's a bit taller than you, but you can handle it, I'm sure. Yeah, look at this Chad. Who said you had to be b bigger than your girl? Uh, good, good for them. All right, so we're, it looks like they're gonna get one. Yeah, they're gonna get one catapult done. That's not a big deal. And we severely outmatch them. Now, we could wait a little longer and starve out the garrison. Actually, why don't we do that? Let's wait. Their garrison is dropping fast. And then what we can do is we can just leave and immediately resiege them to get rid of their, their siege engines. But their garrison will not have had enough time to, to heal back up. So why don't we just do that? All right, so garrison's dead. We're leaving. We're going back in. And we're sieging again. And no garrison. <laughs> No garrison, no siege equipment. I mean, that's what you get if you don't have enough people to defend, right? You kind of deserve it. Now, this is so skewed in our favor that I think I'm going to try to auto-resolve. See if we get decent treatment here. 80, wow, we still lost 81. That's insane. Well, although maybe not. Let's see who died, though. Was it mostly low tier? Yeah, Thrall, Mislevet, Holoman. Those are the low tier. Yeah, Thrall. 
So I guess it makes sense. We have most of the, the good troops in our main party. The Ratnik, Ratnik, yeah, Lush, Lushniki, Bogadengir. That's not bad. But more importantly, none of our companions died. They none of them none of them even got injured actually, so that's good. Okay, I mean that's fine. We do get a few troops, a bunch of prisoners, and a bunch of loot. Now, this is this is what the plan is gonna be from now on. If you declare war on us and we don't want your land, we are completely devastating everything. Your homes will be destroyed. And I don't really care about the relationship, because you're the one that declared war on us. You started it. We'll, we'll be the one to finish it, though.